Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sharonda Patrice and I am back with another video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I know you guys are probably trying to figure out what is going on by the title um, of this video, but yeah, that's what it is. So uh, I just want to give a little backstory on like why I decided to, um, why I decided to quit. So uh, I started YouTube about a year ago and when I started, it was going fairly well, you know, I was, I was getting on here, I was consistent, I was giving what God had given me to give to the people, you know, um, some people were telling me like, girl, you're doing so good, I'm so proud of you, like, they know, like, I don't want to get up in front of people, I don't want to talk in front of people, and just to be able to have a platform so large as YouTube was uh, a lot. So, um, they were telling me they were proud of me and even like what felt like the hardest time in my life, I still was putting content out. I still was doing what God told me to do. I still was giving a word even when I needed a word for myself. So like, I just felt like I was being consistent and then all of a sudden like numbers started dropping. Like I wasn't... I wasn't getting the support like I went from like 60 views to like five views and I'm just like what happened to all the people that said they were supporting me what happened to um I don't know just what happened to the support so I quit I quit so uh, I didn't come to this decision abruptly, you know, I've been praying to God for probably about a month. I really have like increased my prayer time with God. Like I've, I've, I've created like real intentional time to pray, to read the Bible and all that. So in the midst of all that, it's been about a month in the midst of all that, I, um, I was praying to God, like, you know, what should I do? with this channel and I really had, honestly, I quit like three weeks ago. And then um, God had given me something that I needed to put out, which was the comparison. So I put that out. But other than that, I was done. I was still like praying to God, like, what what do you want me to do, da 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 da. And I hadn't heard anything. I didn't hear a move. I didn't hear don't move. I didn't hear sit, stand, nothing. Like, I hadn't heard nothing. So I quit. I decided on my own I was going to quit. I had been praying to God. You know, these people aren't supporting me. What am I supposed to do? Do I need to, like, take a new route? Like, what is it that I need to do? And I just wasn't getting the answer. So I quit. So it's been about three weeks since I made that decision. So last Thursday, yeah. So last Thursday, um, I was just, I was at work. I was just, you know, I didn't really have anything to do. So I was trying to figure out what, what, what I was gonna do to like kill time or wait till the next thing that I, for me to do. And as I was sitting there waiting, I heard God so clearly, y'all, so clearly. And he said, it's not about the support. It's about the people that you bring to me. So it's not about the number of people who are supporting you. It's about the number of people whose lives are being saved. Is basically what he said. So I was like, wow, that was, that was a little deep. So like thinking about like why I initially started this channel was because like, I don't, I'm not the type of person who want to go door to door, uh, telling people about the good news. I'm not one of those that want to walk up to people in the mall and be like, you know, have you heard about God? Like this was my way to not like, have that face-to-face -face contact with people, but still have contact with people in order to um, tell them how good God is, how good he's been to me, how good he can be to them, 
if they allow him to do that, just bringing people um, to God to be saved and to just live this life um, of abundance, really. So that was really the whole purpose behind this. So when he said that, it kind of took me back to about a year ago when I decided to do this channel. And that was the whole mission behind it. It wasn't about to get people to support me to just do whatever like and not not that I was doing like random videos because all the videos that I would that I did was uh pretty much um given to me by God. So that I mean there was might have been like one or two like the, the the decorating and stuff like that that just gave me something uh different to do outside of um outside of like Bible study or some kind of other thing that was um related to that but um it was it was supposed to be to bring people to the kingdom of god so anyway so i was like that was real deep that was that was deep so anyway as the day goes on um um still don't have nothing to do so i put on a sermon so i was watching priscilla Shire, 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 I don't know, but I was watching her, and in the message, she was talking about, she was, I can't remember exactly what she was talking about, but there was a certain part of the sermon where she was talking about, like, you can't worry about, like, how many followers you have, you can't have, worry about how many likes you have, because at the end of the day, as, as believers in Christ, as disciples, like, it's our job to bring people to God. And so it's not going to be, God's not going to be asking us how many followers we have. He's going to be asking us how many souls that we bring to him. So I was like, whoa, like, that's odd. It was almost like verbatim what God had just said. So then I watched the, I watched all of that sermon. Then I went on to a sermon with like Michael Todd and he was talking about like, um doing what god called you to do um no matter if you think it's weird no matter if you think like how is this gonna work out like doing what god told you to do period so i was like okay god okay so you talking for real today okay um so then um let's see then there was another video that I watched where this guy was giving his testimony. And I'm going to link all these up here because I want you guys to watch all of them because they were they were all good. But there was another video where I was watching where this guy was telling his testimony about how he went to hell and he went to heaven. So, and it was like, I'm talking about like I had chills the entire video. The video was like 45 minutes long. I had chills the entire video. And so I was just like... And, you know, like, you start questioning, like, am I going to be one of the ones going to heaven? Like, if you got to start, if you have the question, if you can't say yes to am I going to heaven, then you need to reevaluate. And so I was at that point, like, am I going to, am I going to go to heaven? Like, is God going to be um, pleased with um, my work that I've done here on earth? So I'm just like, okay, now I'm starting to reevaluate, like, everything that I had already decided as far as, like, YouTube so, um, anyway, I had, I, I started reevaluating and then Sunday, so today is Tuesday. So sun, that, that, all that was on Thursday. Sunday, I go to church. My pastor is speaking. Y'all, I kid you not. He is talking about doing the work that God has called you to do. I was like, God, how many more times could you tell me before I start doing what you just told me to do? So, um, it was all about that. And then he read the scripture. I want to read it to you. It's, it's just one scripture in John, John 9 and 4. And it says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. And I'm just like, God, you really speaking though. Like you, you are really telling me that I need to get out here and do this work that you done told me to do. So, um, so then after that, 
I called my friend the same day. I called my friend. I was talking to her and I was telling her how I had decided to quit YouTube. And I, she was somebody, it was her and my fiance that I had talked to about quitting um, previously, like when I, like weeks ago when I was deciding that I was going to quit. And um, when I was telling her like all the stuff that I had heard on Thursday and then pastor spoke this word today and she was like, oh yeah, I've been meaning to call you because she had heard this, um, I don't know if it was a sermon or if it was just like somebody speaking or whatever, but they were just basically like, um, like, don't stop what you're doing because you could be a legacy. Like you could, you could, this could be building your legacy. And so it, it she was like, she thought about me, like I came to mind when she was watching it and it was, she was like, just like, don't stop, don't stop doing what you're doing because this could be a legacy for you. Like you could be building a legacy for, even if nobody's watching it right now, what about your kids? What about your grandkids? What about your great grandkids? Like this is building a legacy so that they can see what their mother, grandmother, great grandmother was doing. And them they might want to walk in her footsteps. They might want, they might learn something. They might come to crisis because of what their great grandmother said. So I was like, wow, that's deep too. So all of that to say, I'm not going to quit, but I had quit. So I'm coming back and I'm going to do videos, but the videos are going to be, I'm going to have more videos that will help the unbelief, the unbeliever, um, to come to Christ. That will be more of what my videos will be on. Um, yeah, it'll be more on that. Like, I'll still have, like, you know, my Bible study. I'll still have, um, you know, just things that, you know, God speaks to me about. Um, I'll still do, I still want to do, like, the crafting videos, but the crafting videos will be... It will be like me crafting, but me talking about something biblical, biblically related. So, um, yeah, it's not gonna, my YouTube's not gonna take a turn, turn, but it's gonna turn. So basically the channel will just be for people who, um, are unbelievers who need maybe a little push to, um, come to God, maybe they just have some questions, maybe they're not sure, maybe they don't believe in God at all, and they come across my channel, and they're just like, oh, wow, like, maybe I want to check God out, because God loves us, God loves, God loves all of us, and that's just, that's just where it is, like, I just want people to know that God loves them, and that His way is the way to go, like, it's a life of abundance, when you start, when you decide um, to be saved and to follow Christ, so yeah, so I'm not, I, I'm coming back. I did quit. I'm not gonna say I'm not quitting because I did quit, but I'm coming back, and I'm here to do what God said. Because if he don't, if I don't, he's gonna beat my butt. So he already been beat my butt since Thursday. So uh, yeah, I'm back. So I will see you guys next week. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.